How wrong is that? Where's Danny? What do you care? You're a Mara now. You been to Mara? Any news? Nah. Yes, there is. You always sniff before you lie. Just that, so far, Ellis hasn't been able to come up with an alternative explanation to what happened. Because there isn't one. Hey, Fatani, more drinks. Come on, we're celebrating. Coming. What are we celebrating? Fatani and Bootley, the first flush of romance. My advice to you two is to enjoy every second of every minute. Thanks, Danny. We, we will. Yeah, because the world is a wonderful place and love makes it come alive. So I, I remember everything Alice did, everything she touched. It's like magic. A miracle made life. Nothing could ever change that. Turns out it doesn't last. After a while, the rot sets in. See, see what I mean? You mark my words. In the end, <clears throat> Alice wasn't worth the hassle. I'm better off without her. We were just talking about the interview process at the Vet Institute. I want to start with you, if that's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, just let me know when you need me. As soon as you can make it, really. Once Danny gets there, we can start. Danny? Yes, we're just about to ring him. I want him to have every chance of defending himself, so I've cleared it for him to sit in on the interviews. Well, does it have to be today? The sooner the better. I'm under enough pressure as it is. Well, what if he doesn't make it? <laughs> Why wouldn't he make it? Not to attend would look like he wasn't cooperating. It could make any judgment against him harsher. Let's just give him a ring. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Um, I'll ring him. What do you mean, how is he? Oh, he looks like a drowned rat. They don't think he killed that leopard before, they definitely bloody will now. Uh, Nomza, coffee, coffee. I just want to sleep. You can sleep when you're dead. Is it strong? Of course. Yeah, drink this. Yeah. What he said before, it was the drink. Oh, really? The drink never lies, that's what you told me. Did I? Yeah. Well, as I said before, he really needs you. No, he really needs to be in these interviews. Just in case, I gotta start plan B. Glad you could make it, Mr. Trevanian. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is there any medical reason why the leopard might have had an adverse reaction to anaesthetic? No. So, what in your opinion was the cause of death in this case? The leopard couldn't cope with the anaesthetic. The anaesthetic or the amount? The amount. And when you arrived, did you offer to assist Mr. Trevanion? Yes. What did Mr. Trevanion say? He seemed in control. Did he say that? I was distracted, but I said I didn't need any help. And based on the presenting signs, do you think the diagnosis of lungworm was reasonable? Absolutely. It's an easy mistake to make. You're trespassing, Dupacy. Now, trespassing on land that should have been mine. Did you really come all the way out here just to say that? No, no. I, I came here to apologize for my outburst earlier. How many more of those have I got to sit through? No, I'm sorry. I didn't help. You did what you had to do. Danny, listen. Please, don't. It's nothing to say. I'm sorry that I messed up with your leopard. And I'm sorry that I got drunk and mouthed off. I'm sorry if I... You know, if we... If us splitting up affected all this. What makes you say that? I just don't want you to think it's all your fault. Why are you doing this? I'm doing what? Be angry, be furious. Please, don't pity me. No, I... I think I could stand anything but your pity. If you'll excuse me, I have to go back in there and be horse-whipped. Think, eh? This should all have been mine. <laughs> this? Not a chance. Even if you'd got the land, you wouldn't be able to create anything like this. Oh, really? You think so? You bet, Duplessis. Ah. She didn't end up marrying, uh... What's her name? Veronica. Yeah. No. That ended. Oh, sorry to hear that. Look, why don't we work together? I mean, we're in the same business. I could look around your animal facilities and... I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. And if you think coming around here trying to schmooze me is going to get your partner off the hook, you can think again. I don't know what you're talking about. Enough, I've got work to do. I'll show you out the back way. I wouldn't want you scaring any more of the guests. Quick, it's Jana. I just found her lying here. Is she OK? No. I think it might be a kidney again. Are you allowed to do this? Are you allowed to treat her? Nobody said anything about carrying her. It's just medication and operations I can't do. She's going to need an operation? Yeah. Call Alice. Alice say? She's been called to the National Park to operate on a pregnant lioness. She thinks she can be here in three hours. Three hours? Would Jana be okay for that long? She's got bladder stones obstructing the bladder neck. They'll have to be removed. Can it wait for Alice? Well, it could, but she'll be in agony. Okay. Okay. Still, that's what we do, right? 
Danny. I don't like that look in your eye. You're not gonna... I'll need your help. I'm gonna operate. The way you keep your animals. Not here. This is where we put the rubbish out. And that includes you. How's it going? You're doing great. I didn't mean me, I meant Jana. <laughs> She's okay. Teamwork, eh? Aiding and abetting, more like. Okay, I'll take that. When I'm done, though, she's gonna need a basket. I'll get it now. All done. What the hell do you think you're doing? It was an emergency. It doesn't matter, you're suspended. I am doing everything I can to help you out, and you go and pull a stunt like this. She needed help. Yes, well, so will you. Because if those blood tests come back tomorrow and don't clear your name, you're on your own. <laughs>